and go. As you know, we are the show that gives you information, entertainment, and inspiration. And now it's time for our inspirational segment, and we give you Joe Satriano for his inspirational segment of the week. Thank you so much, Howie. How's everyone out there? Um, you haven't seen much of me recently because this is my very, very busy time of the year. Uh, I start to do interviews with my uh, foundation, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, I was married to my wife, Susan, for 29 years, and unfortunately, 16 years in, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and 13 years after, she did pass away. Uh, once I finally got my head together and uh, was able to function as a human being and get out of the covers under fetal position, um, I realized that I still had something left in the, ha the tank to help kids. Uh, I started the Susan Satriano Foundation, uh, where I target high school seniors who are going to an accredited college in the fall. Uh, the kicker is that they have to have a parent who's either passed away of cancer, presently battling, or in remission. I'm so proud to say you're looking at the foundation, it's me and me alone, and in 10 years, I'm starting my 11th academic year doing this, I have given out to over 900 students across the nation, well over a half a million dollars in scholarships. So, um, just this past Tuesday, I met an incredible young adult by the name of Carolyn in one of our local schools. and. Um, her mom was diagnosed with uterine cancer three years ago uh, when she was a, just starting her sophomore year at high school. During that three year period before her mom did pass away when she was a, a, a senior, um, her mom was a home ec teacher in the school district where Carolyn goes. And uh, one of the things that her mom and Carolyn started to do was they started to knit hats for cancer patients. Now that might not seem like such a big thing, but you know when a cancer patient loses his, uh, his or her hair, um, especially in the winter, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very not only traumatic episode, but also uh, the outer extremities such as your head become very cold. So a woolen hat, which they actually made mass amounts of, and they would go to hospitals and they would just hand them out. Um, this was an amazing thing because not only was it a bonding episode for her, for Carolyn and her mom, because um, uterine cancer is one of the difficult ones and she was aware that things were going to eventually have a very bad ending. So um, it allowed her time to work with her mom, to also give back to the community and help out. But the one piece that I was so impressed with when Carolyn and I spoke was this. Um, you know, my shout out today doesn't necessarily go to Carolyn, even though what she did was, I thought, tremendous by, by knitting these hats. But um, her neighbors were amazing. And they wanted to remain anonymous, but what they did was, after Carolyn's mom passed away, they left food on her doorstep left a note with that first um, package of food and said, please put out in your backyard a cooler because every day you're gonna get another uh, delivery of food. For some reason, the, the neighbors did not want to be known who they were, but they would write to, 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 you know, when Carolyn came home from school, there was another bit of food. Now, again, that may not seem to be such a big thing, but after a death due to cancer, your life has been turned upside down and the least thing that's on your mind is that you want to have to cook and fend for yourself. So this took away one of the major thing obstacles that, that they had to do. So my shout out goes to Carolyn's neighbors who wanted to remain anonymous but continued to give her food and her dad food, um, which I thought was just amazing. Um, if I may just... Uh, uh, say that one of the ways that I do fund my foundation is I wrote a very inspiring, humorous book called In Sickness and in Health, A Memoir of Love. Um, it's the story of my life with Susan, and it's not a book about loss. Instead, it's a book about hope and optimism and love. That's the way Sue and I handled uh, the 13-year battle that Sue had with breast cancer. Um, not only has it apparently helped people get through their own tragedies, as I've been told, 
uh, who come to my book talks and they write to me and tell me how they're moved forward by simply reading this. But 100% of its proceeds goes to the foundation as well. And I'm very proud to say that since the book has been out, we're going on five years, the foundation has grown by over $19,000. So people are actually reading it. So, Howie, I am so pleased to, um, to announce that, um, you know, like I said, this is my time of year when I go and interview the kids. Uh, there'll be some Sundays, unfortunately, when I will not be able to be on the show, but my heart will be here. Uh, it's all in the name of the foundation, Susan Satriano Foundation. And um, for those of you that want to get in touch with me, uh, talk to me about the foundation or maybe purchase a book, and thereby helping kids with their with the scholarships. Um, the email address is, uh, I should say, the uh, the website is www.susansatrianofoundation.com, uh, or you can call me directly at 516-603-5520, uh, or write to me at joe sue fifty two at aol.com. So thank you so much, Howie, for another great week, and we'll be seeing you in the future. Thank you for our spiritual segment with Joe Satriano.